Hello, and thank you for joining us on SCTV for the Somersville Area Chamber of Commerce Business of the Week. This is a weekly broadcast where we will feature one area business. My name is Lindsay Skidmore, Executive Director. I'm here today with Bill, the House Director at Brown Oaks, and they are the Business of the Week. Congratulations, Bill. Thanks, thanks. You want to tell us about the venue you have here? Sure. Um, Brown Oaks is, um, it's, it's, a, it's a big piece of property. Um, it's uh, five and a half acres-ish. Um, there's a main house, and then there's where we are now, and I'm, I'm really glad we're here so that you can see this. It, it's a... Uh, it's an underused facet at Brown Oaks, the carriage house, but it, it does get used for small events like um, baby showers, children's birthday parties, and it's starting to get used more for things like business meetings, business luncheons. It can accommodate comfortably 20. You can push it up to 25. So tell us a little bit about the main house. What does the main house offer? The main house, uh, it, it's two floors. On the first floor, there's a dining room that can accommodate around a dozen people. Um, the living room is, is much larger. Um, I would imagine you could accommodate 25, 30 people in there uh, for a meeting or if you were having a party. Um, I tell people generally that with the main floor and the porch, especially now that we've enclosed the porch during ugly weather, you could probably have a party for about 40 people on the main floor. There's a kitchen um, that has uh, crockery and silverware, glassware for 24 people. And there's no upcharge for using all of those things as well as the appliances. Um, the second floor has three large rooms that were originally bedrooms in a large hall. Um, those rooms get used most as either classroom spaces when you're doing uh, seminars, meetings, that kind of thing, and also uh, for dressing rooms during weddings. There are two restrooms in the main house. There's a uh, handicap accessible restroom on the first floor, and the second floor has a, a more conventional restroom. Um, well, it's a beautiful space. I know I love the carriage house over here. I always um... It gives me like a cafe kind of vibe. Love it. And um, I know you mentioned some of the rooms over in the, in the Brown Oaks, but the staircase, so beautiful. It's lovely. That's a great place for pictures, um, especially weddings and Absolutely. things like that. Absolutely. If, if you go on the City of Somersville website, you can there's a tab so you can look at Brown Oaks. There's some beautiful photographs there, and you're right. A lot of them are the hall with that beautiful staircase. Really... There are so many beautiful spots for these classic kinds of pictures of weddings or family reunions. Right. Um, you can also go on the Brown Oaks Facebook page and see heaps and heaps of pictures of, of the garden set up for tea parties um, and the carriage house set up for uh, catered events, weddings, that kind of thing. So tell us a little bit about the history of Brown Oaks. Brown Oaks... Uh, was built, the, the house at Brown Oaks, the main house, it was built in 1923 uh, by Dr. Flavius Brown. He'd moved here from the Craigsville area and um, he was a, a physician in Somersville. Uh, he had several children and after he'd lived here, after 1923, um, he needed more room. He had several children, and so the carriage house was built, and the second floor of the carriage house served as, as bedrooms for some of the kids. Um, the carriage house was probably built 10 or 15 later, years later after the, the main house. Um, I said before that it's on five and a half acres, but originally the property was bigger than that. Um, two generations of Browns lived in the house. After Dr. Brown had his family, his son, a dentist, Dr. Brown, he raised his family here. And um, there were a few owners between the Browns 
and the Summers and and Summersville acquiring the property, um, and that acquisition took place in two thousand. So it it's actually on the registry. It is on the National Register of Historic Places, um, and it's just the house actually, but um, but that's a that's a nice. That's a nice thing for the yeah. town to own a home that is on the National Register. And it's, I mean, it's a home that, that is affordable to rent. It's owned by the, the citizens of Nicholas County, and it should be used by the citizens of Nicholas County because it's, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful place. And it's an incredibly affordable venue. Right, for right. For family reunions or birthday parties or even just... A small house party or game night or something informal like yes. that. Yes. So going back to that, um, as you said, you can live right here in Somersville and still rent. I mean, you can rent the house or, or the carriage house. You don't have to be someone coming from outside in to, to host a wedding or something big. That's correct. We, we see an awful lot of people coming from the Fayetteville area, Beckley area, the Kanawha Valley. Um, even in Ohio, people who come here to use the lake or do whitewater rafting, they find us. Uh, sometimes on Facebook, sometimes, uh, it's always something on yeah. the internet. They, they find us and they'll make a call and, uh, and often after they've used us once, they return. That's, right. that's happened with Christmas now. And another thing, um, People, people keep coming back because they like the area and it's an affordable venue and it's so beautiful. Right. I just think it would be so fun to have, um, you know, like a family reunion or a get together, some sort, something different, not like just a conference room or, you know, something just plain, but something so different and beautiful and, and rich in history. Absolutely. Such a great option. It really is. So let's say someone was interested in doing something like that. Um, how would they reach out? Uh, there are a couple different ways. Probably the easiest way would be to just give me a call. Um, since I'm a part-time employee, I'm not always in the office. But you can call, leave a message, and I check it real often, and I would be able to return the call. The number is 304-872-9248. And I know you um, have pictures online as well if people would like to go and maybe they've never visited they could go online and absolutely and the most up-to-date and I don't know that it's the biggest bank of pictures but the most up-to-date pictures would be on the Facebook page and it's under Brown Oaks and then your website would be reachable from Facebook or do you know the the web page um, if you go to the city of Somersville website okay. you can get right there there's the go through that tab so definitely, if they've never been here, take a look at the pictures or even drive up here. I know I've driven through here and seen wildlife running around, and it's always a beautiful spot, um, summer as well as winter. I Absolutely. love driving up through here in the winter. And so many people come up here to do photographs at prom time, at graduation, and we encourage people to do that since it's owned by the city and so beautiful, you know? Uh, it's a great backdrop. There's no charge. People are kind of surprised when I tell them to just come on up and take pictures all they care to. Yeah. So, um, and we also are available to open the house for photo shoots. There is a small charge for that, but like I say, the prices here are extremely low. Right. Making, making it really affordable anytime you'd want to use the house for any occasion. Right. So maybe someone is interested just uh, driving up around the area, um, tell, but they've never been here. So tell them a little bit about how to get here. Well, I always say, <laughs> if you know Somersville, we're right behind Pizza Hut. That's the easiest way because That's what people I say meander too. around and no matter what app they're using on their phones to find us, sometimes they get lost. Yes. And Pizza Hut's a, a beacon out there on Broad Street. Um, if you drive through the parking lot, there, you'll see Old Wilderness Road, and that's the address here. The physical address is 1 Old Wilderness Road. But for people who know the area or have even driven through once, find Pizza Hut. 
we're right behind them. Exactly how I explain it. I say, do you know where Pizza Hut is? And when they say yes, it's the big, beautiful house behind it. <laughs> so <laughs> we're, the, we're the same. That's probably how many people describe it as well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> So I know you guys also do an event in winter, right? Don't you do a tree event where people can come in? And we do. We, uh, we host an open house. And uh, in the past, what we've had is different businesses, individuals, organizations sponsor a tree on the second floor. And we had probably 20 or 30 trees on the second floor decorated by those people. Uh, the main floor... Yeah, uh, Wayne Halstead, who's a member of the board of directors, he oversees the decorating of the, the living room, dining room, kitchen, and uh, I help him with some of the outside decorations. Yeah, it's a big deal, and every Sunday during the month of December, every Sunday afternoon, we open the house and serve light refreshments and, you know, yeah. invite people to come look at the pretty Christmas trees. A great way to get geared up for the holidays, right? And get in the Christmas spirit. It is. Um, so if people is interested in doing that this winter, maybe they could look on your Facebook. Would you have information about that there? There will be a post there. Great. To tell the hours and dates. Great. Um, anything else you would like to say about the venue? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, yes. Um, if anyone is interested in, in hiring the venue for their event, um, they might want to really look at their calendars and consider things quickly because uh, already for the next year we have 14 weddings on the slate. So I don't know what's causing it, but activity is picking up and People get discouraged when they call and they don't get the day that they want. They so, can't reserve the day because somebody else has already taken it. So, And that might reflect back on um, you being so budget friendly. Um, I think so. Yeah. And I think that's why we have so many people from the surrounding area coming here. Yes. And so, you know, they've discovered something beautiful. Definitely, if you have a date in mind, give you a call quickly. and Please come out and have a tour then. Absolutely, anytime. Awesome, well thank you so much, Bill, for being with us today and congratulations on Business of the Week. <laughs> thank you, You're thank welcome. you very much. The Summersville Area Chamber of Commerce is a voluntary partnership of businesses and professionals working together to build a healthy economy in the Summersville area. Be sure to join us every Thursday for the summit broadcasting of our Chamber Chat a weekly radio show where we highlight upcoming member events. Head over to our Facebook page to learn more about how you can enter to win a gift card to one of our restaurant members through our newest promotion, Takeout Tuesday. And continue to join us here on SCTV every week as we feature one of our member businesses. Remember, if you have a business and would like to be featured as the Chamber of Commerce Business of the Week, give us a call at 304-872- 1588 or visit our website at www.summersvillechamber.com.